Should you do a newsletter with Kajabi? They just released the newsletter project and it is in its beta version right now. And some of you are all in and some of you are just like, I don't know if this is worth my time. Well, today's video, I'm going to share with you my insights on whether or not the newsletter product is for you. If I haven't met you yet, I'm Chelsea from On It Virtual Services. We're Kajabi specialists that are helping you get unstuck from your tech roadblocks. Now, the newsletter product is still in beta mode with Kajabi, but many of us have taken the time to kind of dive into it and see if it's really worthwhile. Now, just like anything that's new, whether it is worthwhile to you really just depends. It depends where you're at in your business and whether or not this type of product is going to be beneficial for you. Some of the key things that uh, are special about the newsletter product, number one, it allows you to have a paid newsletter. Now you can do regular emails and you can do paid through emails. However, the newsletter product is a little more seamless. What is really cool about a newsletter post is the fact that you get to have part of it could be for free people, just public. Part of it could be for uh, subscribers so people who have uh, added themselves to your email list. And you could also have a segment that is for paid subscribers. So you have those, those three kind of audiences that you can have on one single post. And that is not possible in an email. That's not possible in blogs. It is unique to the newsletter. So if you are someone who really likes to invest in those three groups of audiences and you want to deliver content to all of them in one place, newsletters definitely is for you. If you are just wanting to build an email list and just communicate to the people on your email list, you might not need the newsletter. You could absolutely use it as a way to be able to deliver content to them. The added benefit for the newsletters that you can use it for is the kind of blog style landing page that you get. Okay, so all of the posts that you send out as a newsletter will be kind of populated onto one landing page, very much like a blog. It's styled very similar, similarly. Um, it, it follows your website theme settings for customization. So it's really quick to kind of get all of your blog posts in one specific place. Now, the thing with that landing page is that you are going to have multiple people coming to it. So like I mentioned before, you can have free people coming to it. You can have subscribers coming to it and you can have paid subscribers or paid members coming to that landing page as well. So you can really drive all three audiences to that one page and they can get all the content. So even if they signed up today, they can get the content that you had posted months or even years previous. Once obviously that it's been running for a while. Another really cool feature about the newsletter product is the ability to be able to create your post. And once you hit publish, it automatically goes to the landing page and it sends an email out to either your subscribers or your paid members, whichever audience you determine you want it to go to, it'll automatically send it out. So you don't have to go and create a whole nother email. So for example, if you were to create a blog post, and then you'd have to go create an email to send people to go see the blog post. It's two different steps or two separate steps, which is more work. With the newsletter, you create your post, you just put in the settings of who do you want to send this to, hit publish, boom, it's gone. It's automatically gone to, the, to their email and it's automatically published on the newsletter landing page so that you can have everything compiled as one. So it is streamlining this process very much. And the last benefit that is pretty cool is comments. You can have comments on your newsletter. Our blogs right now in Kajabi, there's no comments on them. And it has been a big pain point for many years. Uh, the fact that we don't have commenting on blogs and people have to do third party services to have that into their blogs. Well, with newsletters, we have commenting on them. So it's super, super exciting that we're able to do that. And of course you can choose to whether have them locked or hidden or visible, the same kind of flexibility that we have for commenting inside of products is there in the newsletter product. So whether or not the newsletter product is for you, it really just depends on where you're at in your business. Do you have a audience that fits into one of one or two or three of those uh, groups of subscribed um, free people that aren't subscribed on your email list um, and paid uh, members as well. So if you are just dealing with one of those audiences, it could still be a benefit to you. Um, or maybe it's just simple. You continue doing regular email marketing and do a newsletter through email marketing. 
Now, I wouldn't be um, a true Kajabi hero here if I didn't tell you some of the downsides. Of course, it's in beta, so it's not perfect. Development still needs to be uh, worked on on it. One of the biggest downsides that I find personally from it is the fact that if you want to have a subscriber uh, subscribe to your newsletter, they have to go through the double opt-in pro process, which for some of you, that's probably mandatory. Um, but for some people, it is a bit of a roadblock that can make things a little more challenging for people to sign up with. The other issue is that it is going to create customers inside of your Kajabi account, which can sometimes mess up our analytics. When we have people come in as a customer that aren't paid, that they're just coming in because they are um, granted an offer. And in this case, in order to get the newsletter, you have to be granted an offer. You have to be subscribed to that newsletter. So in the back end, it could get a little bit messy making customers when they're not paying customers. So that part so as a um, as a Kajabi expert is not great for the back end. The other piece that I think is a little bit of a downside is the fact that the styling of the newsletter comes from your website theme styling. So whatever you have on your login page and your library page for a header, footer, background, all of those things, they go across all of your website theme pages and the newsletter is part of those theme pages. And so unfortunately, if you want to have a different header, a different footer, a different background, or even different font stylings or anything like that on your newsletter, you can't because it's pulling it from that website theme setting. So as a designer, that's a little bit of a restriction that is not really great to work with um, because now you have to make sure your newsletter matches the rest of the web website theme settings, which for some of us is totally not a problem at all. Um, but for others, it is an issue because we like to um, have a little bit of different customization on those pages and not necessarily identical across all of them. If you have any questions about the newsletter or if you are in the process of designing your newsletter and you're a little bit stuck, you can head over to my other video here on your screen on how to actually get your newsletter set up. And of course, I give you some inside tips <laughs> that Kajabi doesn't tell you in their help article articles on how to actually get this done properly without messing things up. So Check, take a look at that video there and feel free to reach out to us anytime. If you are stuck, you can find us at onitvirtualservices.com.